Happy Monday, everyone. A messy start to the work week with snow falling right now across much of the area. Not as much, though, in some of our northern counties, and it's beginning to shrink up in coverage as of about the lunch hour. Right now, it's on the lighter side for most. We have seen some heavier snow bands today. We can kind of see where they have been. Back from I-44 and off to the south here in Missouri. A little bit lighter across parts of north central Arkansas and our easternmost counties have seen rain trying to transition to snow over the last hour or so. Now heading into the mid-afternoon, let's say by 2 o'clock, coverage shrinks up and mostly from Highway 65 and off to the east, rain with some wet snow here and there. Then I'd say by 4 o'clock, we're looking pretty dry and clouds breaking up in our westernmost counties. Could even see some sunshine just in time for sunset. Clear skies tonight and nothing but sunshine for your Tuesday as well as this area of low pressure off to our south continues to move on out of the southeast, bringing them a lot of rain today, but we're on the backside of that low with some cooler air and once again, we dry out heading into the afternoon. Road conditions as of right now and into the early evening. The purple's going to be where they're the worst. Snowy, slushy conditions from, let's say, Lebanon down into northwestern Arkansas and even down towards Harrison, some rough roads and uh, some slick spots going to be for that blue where you haven't seen as much snow accumulation. It's really going to be those secondary, those tertiary roads for all of us that are going to be the worst. Now the next few days we should see a significant amount of melting tomorrow as temperatures climb into the 50s and we have plenty of sunshine that incoming solar radiation does a lot. Then by Wednesday your Valentine's Day features highs in the upper 50s, more sunshine, a few more clouds on Thursday and here's kind of what we're tracking. The next few days look pretty mild for us here in the Ozarks. Pretty quiet weather pattern. As we head into Thursday, we'll see an area of low pressure move into the Great Lakes region and kind of a stronger one with a cold front moves in right behind there Thursday night into your Friday. We'll see a cold front swing through on Friday and that brings us a pretty low rain chance. But you see with this kind of northwesterly flow, that's going to help push in some cooler air as we head into your Saturday. And Saturday will be a lot colder than what we've seen this week. It's pretty brief. And once again, it's coming in behind a cold front and then a quiet weather pattern shapes up again as we head into your Sunday and as we begin next week. Now temperatures today are going to stay pretty cold, a little bit warmer in our northernmost counties, closer to average potentially thanks to some earlier sunshine. I'd say closer to I-44 and off to the south, many of us staying back in the upper 30s only for highs this afternoon, a few isolated low 40s but nonetheless below average. Then at 8 o'clock we're in the mid to upper 30s and lows tonight should drop back into the upper 20s to low 30s as you head out the door tomorrow morning. Once again, pretty quiet, pretty nice. Nice. The next few days, we'll see some scattered showers possible right now on Friday. There's the cooler air on Saturday in the low 40s, and then we quickly rebound on Sunday back into the 50s.